Hey folks, how's it going? We are checking out more office. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Last episode was Cringe City, man. There was so much cringe happening in it, but it was hilarious, man. The dude playing the music, running in there, giving a speech that nobody reacted to, nobody liked. And uh, poor Don just sitting over in the corner like, <laughs> like yep, this is my boss, guys. <laughs> I'm just here for this hun that hundred bucks, man. I'm just here for the hundred bucks. Well, it was a good episode, man. It was funny. I really enjoyed it. Like I said, a lot of cringe. It was a good episode, so let's go on and jump into this one, folks. We'll talk about it more in the end. Hi, right, uh, hello. Just another normal day at the office, isn't it? Just a normal day, isn't it? Don's all so, gussied up. What? <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Nothing, man. Um, uh, I'm obviously, we know his day. Uh, it's always a good laugh. We had a <laughs> key here, yeah, right? This is the sort of thing. <laughs> uh, the key, allergy, yeah. Key. With allergy. Cara, come here, right? Look at this. Normal day, right? Just a normal office. What are you doing? We've got a hop everywhere. <laughs> Being sponsored. So that's the sort of thing. I'm in everywhere. That's the sort of thing we'll be doing today. We always, uh, you know, always a good laugh. Raise quite a lot. But on a serious note, it is comic relief, and uh, we are raising money for people who are starving to death. <laughs> if I make people laugh while I'm saving lives, sue me. But, Change uh, his tone you know, off fast. <laughs> do it. <laughs> that's the accountant and that's the boss encouraging it. So what sort of day is it? Is it normal? I've got the uh, Slough Gazette coming down to take a photo. What time is it coming down? About five-ish. So <laughs> they love us. Uh, no, it's just me. I've got something planned. So. We could all be in it, eh? Well, not really. I called oh, them. They so. love us. Yeah, stop trying to worm into someone else's photo. Oh, God. I like how boring he said Booyaka Shah. He said Booyaka Shah. How <laughs> boring. Kiss me on the nose. Hey, uh, what do I get for a tenner? Oh, no. Squeal, piggy, squeal. <laughs> she looks disgusted. <laughs> Dude, how long is it going to go? <laughs> oh, God. Nah, I'm not that desperate. Oh, who says family? That's to be depressing. That's not on <laughs> And that's what today's all about. Dignity. Oh no. Always dignity. My kids are gonna sing those. These dudes. Oh, I don't know. When they go down the DSS to, to make a claim, then they should set off a fire alarm, a fake fire alarm. Everybody legs it out the office, leaving them there. If they're fake, they'll be up and running with you. If they're real, they'll be left there screaming for help. Oh, that's terrible. And say, it's all right, don't cry. It's just a test. You've yeah. passed. Here's your money. Yeah, spend it on what you like. One of those little <laughs> blue cars or whatever you want. Another. It's just one idea. Yeah. Yeah. That's. <laughs> She's joining in with it. Do you want to put this on? A little nose? No, I don't. No? It's up to you. Up to her. Her own decisions. <laughs> These fucking dudes. <laughs> you have to get traumatized to get your money. Oh, Gareth, you know I'm doing kisses for a pound as well, like Dawn. Well, you're not. I wouldn't pay if you were. I know. So sh I'll put your pound in, shall I? Hmm? I'll put a pound in so you kiss me. No, I wouldn't kiss you if you paid me. Oh. I am paying Gareth. It's quite simple. So, as it's for charity, I need to just get what's Why are you right such a bender? No, get off of me. A bender. I'm just Get off. To... I'm not get off. I'm not, I'm I'm not kiss. kissing you. I didn't put a pound in. Well, I'm going to put a pound in. You're such in. a pervert. I'm not a pervert. Oh, God, pervert. that just feels good, though. Get off of me. <laughs> that feels better. I hope you're getting all this. I hope you're getting all this. And I hope your girlfriend it. knows that you're gay, because otherwise she's going to get a big surprise. Oh, and is that your big surprise? I've got a big surprise. I've got it. I found his big surprise. It's, oh, okay. All right, okay. Don't. Take I mean, things too far. All right, just don't. Why are you so cut <laughs> up about it? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh! huh! That was one way. I didn't. Oh! I didn't kiss him back. Oh! Oh! He's funny. He's a funny guy. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's quite a bit in there. You can add that to yours if you like. All right. Cheers. Yeah. I've already raised more than that in a way. Cheers. Anyway. 
It's your only crew we did last time. So, uh, and if you wanted dancing, you should have come to me, couldn't you, if you want? I know you'd rehearse that as a plan. What, I did dance? Big time. More modern stuff than that as well. Yeah. I sort of fused flash dance with MC Hammer shit. Sure. <laughs> No, show us your moves. Nah, there's no beat, oh, is there? Oh, go on. You can't, you have music and everything. Oh, my God. This is going terrible. I just for charity. Just a little bit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Terrible, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Didn't stop. Just embarrassing. So, that's playing, Dave. Yeah. Oh no, people look upset. You might get. <laughs> don't have to give a donation for that, do we? Well, don't say it like that. All the ones that get for both dances. Both excellent dances. Well, they get a donation for that. Well, you know, if there is a difference, mine was impromptu. So, but I don't think you should get extra points for that, necessarily. God bless them. Make your own minds up. Leave me out of it. I'm collecting for charity, all right? So, uh... Ah, oh, Steve. Hi. Uh, with from the local mental hospital. Is, uh... Is Gareth Keenan here? Because oh. he's escaped. Because he is mental. <laughs> it's my crew. <laughs> Kisses for a quid. Yes, I will have some Thank you very much. Come eat. Oh! One man, mate. Oh, that's all we need. Come on. Okay. Oh. So he's trying his best to get some lips. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about this, this is my mad mate. <laughs> oh, oh look at your lips, dude. They finally come to take you away, then. <laughs> Just come with I didn't call you like whale man or the no, blubber no. man. No, yeah, but silly. I don't go around calling myself the Mong Boy. Well, I don't either. I call myself the Og Monster. I'm not going to call you the Og Monster. Well, that's my name, isn't no, it? No, it's not. What's your real name? Nathan. It's a good name. Is it? Yes. I call you Nathan. I didn't call you face. What, what is? Oh no. <laughs> Making people cry. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got Steve. a sponsorship form for Comic Relief. Um, I wanted to enter into the spirit a bit more, you know. Oh dear. Oh. What a day. Okay, <laughs> oh. David, did you have that uh, report? Oh, glad you brought that up. Well, that's why I'm here. Yep. Yes, um, formulating a lot of good ideas that are no, very David, exciting. No, David, I don't want to talk about our report or the report we're going to do soon. I'm talking about the report we talked about four days ago that was definitely going to be done today. You know how important I consider this report to be. I come in and I discover that this what? is the fruit of your labours. I don't go Just through my stuff the first and I'm sentence. not in well, Just it's... please, read the first sentence for Jennifer. Imagine a cross between Telly Addicts and Noel's house party. You've just imagined Upstairs Downstairs, a new quiz show devised and hosted by David Brent. David, I just don't understand this. Well, the contestants run upstairs and they get a clue. No, not the game not show. To... I don't understand why you Jesus. haven't done the report you said you'd do. I don't understand your consistent negligence and failure to do what is asked of you. Because you're viewing my methods, like there's something missing, like you're looking at it like the jigsaw that it is, but you're viewing it through a keyhole when really you should be... David, some words would be useful here. Oh, I yeah. think actions speak louder than words. You're on a warning. Okay, that's the action I'm going to take. It's a verbal warning, obviously three strikes and you're out and things have got to change. Fine. Give me all three now then, because, oh, I'd love to see you run this place. For You'd have a mutiny on your hands for a start, because they would, <laughs> if that's what you want. Come on, let's bring it on. No, oh, David, David, that's don't. not what I want. Oh. I want to see this place run with you doing your job, OK? OK. Take the verbal warning. Still take the warning. Take the verbal warning, learn from it, and let's move onwards and upwards. OK? 
Neil makes me laugh though because you know it's his interfering it's his timing you going on about he wants some report doing it's red nose day you know oh what's more important you Neil with your report or some starving children oh I don't know you know oh what would Lenny Henry say I think we know imagine him going out of the door on comic relief day and Dawn French is going where are you going you haven't done the washing up you haven't put the rubbish out you do it yourself I've got to save some Africans he Man, this dude. What are you reading? Uh, holiday brochure. Why is that then? Going on holiday? What, uh, possibly. Where uh, to? Uh, the States. United States? Uh, yeah. Don't know if you've heard the gossip, but Tim's going out with Rachel. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd... I'd heard, yeah, because yeah, uh, he used to fancy you, didn't he? Oh, did he? Uh, yeah. yeah, 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 he did, and now he's found someone better. <laughs> this dude. What are you doing? Oh, just working. I'm very, oh, very, very bored. Excuse me. Yeah. Desk yeah. procedures, chairs are sitting on. I think he's a little bit jealous that he's not getting the view you're getting. Wrong. I got the arse this side, so <laughs> I only want to be sitting where he's sitting if you was wearing a skirt. And then I could look up there. Oh my That's god. <laughs> Aren't you going to defend my honour? No. <laughs> oh shit. You Ooh, get off the table. he's getting a bit embarrassed by his new girlfriend. I'm not. Oh. I'm not. I'm not. You're right. Yeah. Well. Excuse me, no. Um, yes. Can can we have a, another quick word? Not now, no. I'm literally running downstairs this minute. What for? The, um, the Gazette are coming in to take my picture. So uh, I'm going to be in the paper. Well, Wernham Hogg are going to be in the paper. Free advertising. So that's not why I'm doing it. This shouldn't take long. OK. Um, <clears throat> sorry to spring this on you now. Um, we've been discussing something that you said earlier, and it's, it's certainly something we've been thinking about as well. Um, We'd like to offer you a very generous redundancy package. Oh, shit. Are you offering me it, or are you telling me I've got to take it? Um, we're telling you you've got to take it. We will put in a proper meeting tomorrow. It's good timing, isn't it? Telling me that today, the day of laughter. Brilliant. That's that ruined, isn't it? That's what I was... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So now I've got to try and go down there and be funny. That's going to be... good, isn't it? With that going through. I knew you were up to something, planning summer. Jennifer, do you agree with this? Because we can... I'll be all right. Don't worry about me. I've got other irons in the fire, so this is the best thing that's ever happened to me, to be honest. But I'm going to love to see you telling that lot out there, because you are going to have a mutiny on your hands. They will go berserk, definitely. They won't, though, man. If that's it, can you leave now, please? This sucks. Go on. I've got stuff to do. I've got, I've got laughter. To, I've got money to raise, mouths to feed. It's your time. Yeah. He does a terrible job, but I feel bad for him. It's messed up. Yeah. If you're wondering what that meeting was just about in there, that's it. I've been made redundant. Uh, dang, somebody say something. Yeah. After it was me who saved others from redundancy, and then it's back. Good die young. But, um, oh, I, s I said you lot are going mental. And now I've got to go and give laughter. But, see ya.
dang it. Somebody can at least pretend. Okay. Do you just want to make it pack? Uh, yeah. Just run around a bit. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Okay. Now, now smile, it's for comic relief. Can I just do it it's down there? Yeah. Just, can you make it peck at your mates like Roy Hudd? Rod Hull. Yeah, just do that. Good. Yeah. Okay, good. That's fine. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's a bit dark, actually. I didn't bring a flash. Uh, probably won't be able to use these, actually. Okay. Jesus Christ. Don't be disappointed if they're not in. No. Okay. okay. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Mm. Well done, David. Well done, mate. No, no worries. Don't miss it. Yeah. <laughs> Booyakisha. <laughs> that was a good episode, man. It's kind of messed up. I know I've talked stuff about him in this show about um, Brent because he, like, he isn't a good manager, man. He isn't a good leader at all. He makes a lot of bad decisions. The dude is so focused on like his um, age and like how people find him funny and all that type of jazz. That he, he's too busy doing that to like actually, you know, do actual work. Like I said, sometimes like it's hard to feel bad for him because he gets stuff in these situations. Even though he didn't, I, when he just gave him the verbal warning, I'm like, he didn't learn anything from this warning at all. He didn't learn anything from this warning just because he just started talking mess right afterwards. But, and I think they probably felt that he's not going to learn anything from warnings anyway. He's going to continue to be the same person. He's not going to learn anything from the experience. I don't know. With that being said, I just feel bad for him, you know, because I think he, he thinks he's doing a good job. He thinks he's building a good team. He thinks he's doing the right thing. And some people that way, man, they're so, like, pig-headed where they actually think they're doing the right thing, even though you tell them they're not. They're so, you know, I don't know. They just really stick to their convictions. Like, and I think he just, he's sticking to what he believes, which he believes he does a really good job on a daily basis, and nobody's going to tell him otherwise. So, it's like he's just getting, he's getting punished for his ignorance, you know? So, I don't know. I feel bad for him that he's, 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 the dude's lost his job. Because, like, where is he going to get a job at, you know? Just being the way he is. So, I'm surprised he was actually promoted to the position he's in now. But yeah, like I said, I've given Brent a hard time watching this show because of the goofy stuff he does. He puts the stuff in these situations. He doesn't respect boundaries. He'll, somebody be having a conversation, he'll just step right in the middle of the conversation while they're talking. He does that a lot. He'll tell jokes and keep laughing at his own jokes and clearly nobody else is enjoying them, but he'll keep on going with it. Or he'll like poke fun and do something for it. Like him, them all, they're all guilty of it, but them getting together and pulling the old boy's pants down, like he constantly crosses the line all the time. So sometimes like stuff happens to him and it's hard to feel bad for him. But like I said, today I felt a bit bad for him, man. And then Don, man, the face she was looking, the face she was making when the two were dancing, I think she was expecting Tim to get, like, jealous or something. Maybe because her boyfriend always gets jealous. And maybe she was surprised that he didn't. Like, she was kind of, like, almost, like, looking like, why isn't this bothering you? Because they're getting kind of intimate. That's all I can think of that face she made was she expecting Tim to react negatively to, like, the dance being, like, a bit intimate. And when he did, and I think she was a bit surprised. That's all I can think of. And that was a weird kiss as well. I'm not sure, like, because he didn't seem like he kissed back. And then he didn't kiss his girl. So I'm like, did he, like, like it and what she didn't like it? Or did he just feel awkward because they did and he know they shouldn't? Did Don like the kiss and she could tell he didn't? Did they both like it? Did the sparks fly? I don't know. They make like real facial expressions and stuff, so I don't really know like what's going on with it. So I guess we'll definitely see since the last episode is next week. And then this Christmas special the week after that. So so I guess, yeah, you could say the last episode is in two weeks. I'd do that. But yeah, man, I enjoyed it. This was a good episode. Feel bad for, felt bad for Brent. Alright guys, man, that is all for this one. Hopefully you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.